Welcome to the 8th Annual Gem Fields and Rio Tinto, the Retail Jeweller India Awards 2012. The elite circle of excellence in the retail jewellery industry. Fits the industry um, due to the fact that it's a televised event, that it makes people more aware, uh, the general public aware of jewellery as a market sector. It's a great, uh, great incentive and a great situation for everybody that is in the jewellery industry. We're just looking to a lovely uh, evening and to see some of the award winning pieces. So I'm just looking forward to see who has actually won now and what has happened. I'm uh, just looking forward to seeing again beautiful jewellery and uh, to see which, which uh, pieces have won. Namaskar and good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 8th Gemfields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweller India Award 2012. Now I'd like to request you all to kindly put your hands together for Soma Bhakta, director and editor of the Retail Jeweller magazine. Welcome to the 8th Gem Fields and Rio Tinto Retail Jeweller India Awards 2012. And uh, I believe that all of you are doing a lot for uh, uh, taking the industry to greater heights. And at our end, um, we are putting together a very strong jury panel year after year. These are individuals who are very high achievers in their respective professions. It was a jaw-dropping experience for me. And like they say, this, these are the Oscars for jewelry. I'd, I'd stick to the same. I have actually seen so much jewelry that I haven't seen before, and so many innovative designs that I haven't uh, come across before. Design is something that I love to see in any form. I breathe and see art everywhere. I can relate it very well with my paintings or the work I do. I thought it would be much easier, but the amount of pressure that I felt today since the morning I walked in to judge all the pieces because everything is so beautiful. It was very difficult because each is unique and each is different. It was very tough to say this is number one and this is number two. Ladies and gentlemen, for their precious time, please welcome our jury member, Members in this case, Anita Dongre, fashion designer. Ananya Banerjee, renowned artist. Arti Singh, senior VP programming, NDTV Good Times. Namrata Barwa Shroff, interior architect. Prasad Kapre, core committee member, Fiki Gem and Jewelry. Shona Chohan Saluja, CEO, Pali Agro Private Limited. Vaishali Banerjee, Manager, Platinum Guild, India. Amrita Puri, Actress. Last but not least, Neha Dhupia. Thank you very much, jury members. Thanks very much, Soma. This is the eighth year in running uh, so the Retail Jeweler Award is uh, taking place. And I think it's evolved every year that it has been in existence. I remember the first year when it happened, the number of entries that they received and the number of entries that they received this year, I think it's gone up by more than a thousand percent. Ladies and gentlemen, the presenting partner for the 8th Gemfields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012 is Gemfields.
gentlemen, please put your hands together for the CEO of Gemfields, Mr. Ian Herbockle. First of all, good evening and namaste to everybody. How are you doing? I want to hear that again. I've been at the show all week and I know there's a lot more energy. Unless you've done so many sales, you're all tired. Good evening, namaste. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you for being here. So I'd just like to start off by saying very much uh, a good evening and a welcome to all of you and a great thanks for being here together with us on this auspicious and really exciting evening. I want to thank starting off with the Retail Jeweler Magazine, uh, our partners and the promoters of this great event. Of course, uh, the German Jewelry Export Promotion Council or GJEPC for their, the fantastic work they do within the German jewelry industry within India. Um, I'd also like to thank our co-sponsors, uh, Rio Tinto. I see you guys sitting over there. Thank you for being with us. It's fantastic and wonderful to have you with us. I want to thank my fantastic team in Gemfields. I always get the easy job. I come up here and I stand on the stage and I look at you and all you handsome young men and you beautiful young ladies with 90% of you wearing stunning gemstones. So it's, it's the easy job. But I have a fantastic team behind me that does the work and I certainly don't want to forget to thank them Yogesh, Rupak, and all of the rest of you know who you are. And of course, the most important people we all need to thank is, is India and the population of India and all of the television viewers that are tuning in to watch this program and all of those people that love what we do and wear it and show it off every day with pride. So welcome, India. Namaste to all of you. It's a great privilege to be here. I have to say... <laughs> guys, what a fabulous privilege. What a... What a great experience, how energizing, how fortunate are we to be part of this great in this industry. It's absolutely amazing. You know, right now, as I come here, not only is the industry great, not only is the industry, I tell people, I was talking to someone yesterday, and he was coming from a different industry, and I said, once you've come to the gemstone industry, and the, 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 the bug and the virus has caught you, there's no future. It's contagious. And that's true for all of us. And for all our challenges and for all our problems, it's just addictive and we can't give it up and we love it and it's never boring. It's certainly never boring. But nowhere more so than right here in India. So welcome, you guys, I tell you, I travel the world. And as I go around the world, without a doubt, the world's not the happiest place right now. There's problems in the world, there's challenges. And certainly for myself, if I need to take like a happy pill, there's no better place to come than right here in Mumbai and India. Because you know what? When the world has challenges, when it's got problems, we don't want to be facetious, we don't want to be flippant, we don't want to just ignore. Many people, it changes their lives for the worse. In many people, sad things happen. But out of challenge, out of fire, out of turbulence, out of tribulation, so often comes greatness. And it's when, when things are easy, it's easy to be successful. But when things are tough, it's only when things are tough that the great stand up and that the great go forward. And in my opinion, there's very few places in the world that you see more greatness than right here in India. In India, what I see, thank you, thank you, well done to you guys. What do I see in India? I see a, a passion and a dedication and a total commitment to change and to success and to perfection. And this is what we need. This is what our industry needs. This is what the world needs. This is what drives us forward to the future. And especially what I always tell people, our gemstones, God took hundreds of millions of years to, to manufacture and to, to create our gemstones. Everyone perfect in its own right. Some perfect at a million dollars and some perfect at five dollars. But everyone perfect in its own right. And he took almost as long to create some of us to perfection. And some of us, you know, almost a couple of million years and so on beyond. But we need to do it right. We need to do it proper. Every stone deserves excellence. Not for us, not for you, but for our customers, so that they can wear it with pride. And not only can they wear it and a husband can spoil a wife or vice versa, but they can treasure it for generations and they can pass it on and create a legacy. I know, I look at all of us men, as much as we love success and we love everything else in fashion, there's one thing we love, it's love legacy. We want to be remembered. And through jewelry, there's no better way than to choose something special for your wife to tell her she's special, that she can pass on to generations and that they can remember that moment forever. So this is who we are, this is our industry and this is where it's great. Right, I'm just gonna move on my guys, moan and groan a little bit. Now, 
Talking of the industry, talking of this and what you guys are doing, I'd just like to share a little bit of what we at Gemfields are doing and I'm very proud and privileged to be doing in support of you guys. Gemfields sees itself as a leading colored gemstone mining and marketing company. Our vision and our passion and commitment, we love platinum, where you guys are over there, we love gold, we love diamonds, we think it's fantastic. We love jewelry, we love all your manufacturers, but we certainly have a special love for color. And our feeling is that for many years, color was there, it's in our natural psyche. You watch people walk down a street, which is the window that catches their attention and they turn twice, it's the one with color. But color became forgotten. And our vision is to bring color back so that color's playing on the, on the field with all of the rest of you. And as I look across this audience, I see a lot of shining color. So Gemfields is very committed to guaranteeing you, the jewelry industry, is guaranteeing you a consistent supply of ethically sourced color gemstones. And I'm very pleased to say that right now we're the single largest provider of ethical emeralds in the world, the single largest provider of ethical amethyst, and soon to be, hopefully, the single largest provider of ethical rubies. We've got a fantastic ruby deconcession in Mozambique, which will soon be bringing lovely rubies onto the market. Over and above that, what else are we doing? Besides that commitment, we're investing in geology, we're investing in mining, we're investing in schools, we're investing in clinics, we're investing in farming projects, we're investing in transparency, taxation. So, those, so when you wear those beautiful jewels, lady, you can feel good, because not only has your husband spoiled you, but he's made a difference, trust me, in many people's lives. Over and above that as well, we're buying new mining licenses, and watch this space, a couple of other really exciting colored gemstones will be following. So don't have a passion just for green or just for red. They all look beautiful on all of you, and there's a right place and time for every one of them. The other things that I've really been excited to be involved with over the last little while was I in, in, through consumer education. Our feeling is when a consumer is educated, when a consumer understands, when a consumer has faith, when they have trust, they buy more, they buy with confidence. Those gems, those hundreds of million years old gems deserve to be taken in the right way. And so we're mining them right, we're mining them ethic ethically, but we're also investing in working with people like GIA and many others to help educate you guys, to train your staff, and at the same time to train the consumers. Because when a consumer has confidence, they understand the stone, they understand the value, they understand the pricing, they're happy to buy and they're happy to come back and keep doing. Over on top of that, I've had the super privilege this year of being at the IFA Awards, together with Mr. Choksi Papu, are you here somewhere? I don't know if he's here yet, but it was great. What an event. How super was it to be partying and, and just with all your movie stars, what lovely people. I know they're heroes, they're almost like gods in your country, and they're superstars, but when you meet them and you party with them, they're real, they're energetic, they're passionate, and they're committed, and they love our product. How nice is that? So to Bollywood, guys. To Bollywood. And of course, on top of that, this last week, we've been involved in the Indian International Fashion uh, Jewelry Week, and I don't know how many of you have attended that Jewelry Week, but I was blown away with how much color how much color was there. Whether it was colored diamonds or colored gemstones, it was on the jewelry, it was wonderful. And there we were partnering with people like Amrapali and many others, a huge privilege. And fairly soon, I don't know how many of you have been watching, but if you've been looking around the world, you would have seen even in Hollywood, more and more color is being worn on the red star carpet. And when you're looking at famous stars around the world, more and more people are putting color into the engagement rings. And this is a great privilege and a great honor for me to be part of all of that. So, once again, I just want to, in closing here, and thanking all of you for your, your dedication, your passion, your commitment to this industry. Every one of you, I've seen it. I'm addicted, you can see it. I'm dragged away tonight, I have to fly off to Amman in Mozambique, but I've loved it. Thank you for my injection of India, my injection of Jaipur. It'll keep me going and I'll be back fairly soon. Um, and uh, of course, finally, I'm just very happy. I'm going to pop out and I'll pop back, but I'm very happy to unveil, together with a few others, that the, the new emerald collections by a number, a number of leading jewelers from across India. So we'll be bringing that out to you soon. I hope you have a fantastic evening and enjoy. Thank you.
And the gorgeous emerald green gown that the sporting Anna Habers got on is, of course, Manish Malhotra's creation. For one last photo op, I'd like to call on Ian back on stage. Ian, can we have you out, please? Right in the center there. Thank you very much, models. Thank you all. Rio Tinto is the presenting partner for the 8th Gemfields and Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012. Rio Tinto operates a fully integrated diamonds business from exploration through to sales and, of course, marketing. It is one of the world's major diamond producers. I'd now like to request Mr. Vikram Merchant, Manager, India Representative Office, Diamond Sales and Marketing, Rio Tinto, to please come up on stage to say a few short words. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure for Rio Tinto to co-present the Retail Jeweler India Awards. It's important to recognize excellence in our industry and within a very short period, the Retail Jeweler Award has established itself as a premier mark of excellence in the Indian gems and jewelry industry. The Retail Jeweler has set its vision as imparting knowledge and initiating growth. It's a vision that resonates with Rio Tinto's initiatives in India. This year, Rio Tinto, together with Retail Jeweler India Awards, has introduced a new award category, the first India Design Excellence Award. Idea. The award has been instituted to inspire innovative diamond jewelry designs for Nasrana, a new category of diamond jewelry. 
Nasrana, the royal gift of diamonds, is an exquisite range of diamond jewelry designed to be the ideal gift for family and friends at the many celebratory occasions during the wedding. So we've looked to do something different, and we've looked to do this with the retail jeweler and institute an award for young designers uh, to inspire them and incentivize them to come up with new innovative jewelry designs. So we reached out to 55 institutes, and we've really had an overwhelming response of over 1,200 entries. I must thank my extremely talented and eminent jury of designer Varuna Jani, Ishu Datwani, Pratap Kamath, Subhash Bhola, and Prayas Dugar. Thank you very much for all the time that you took for this judging process, for going through as many entries as we had, as well as for your suggestions on how we can take such awards further and how we can help develop young designers in our industry. It's through their keen insights on design that we've actually been able to shortlist so many entries into, in fact, our 10 shortlisted uh, awards, uh, uh, sorry, uh, shortlisted uh, designs. These young designers have demonstrated artistry and invention. They've shown talent and innovation. And we in this industry, we must find ways to bring these new designs to a new discerning Indian jewelry consumer. I congratulate the finalists today. I congratulate the finalists of our Nazrana Award, and I wish them well for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Vikram. The nominations for the India Design Excellence Awards of the Year 2012 are Gunjan Daga, Savan Sukha Institute of Jewelry Design, Kolkata. Sonam Shah. Shishtripati Anjali Kharkia Sadaf Ansari Shrishti Design Studio Mumbai Madhura Bhogle, SNDT Mumbai. So the winner is Anjali Kartharia. Madhura Bhogle, first runner up, certificate trophy, and of course a check of 25,000 rupees. Congratulations. Gunjan Daga, certificate trophy, check of 25,000 rupees, second of the four runners up. The third runner up for the Design Excellence Award for 2012 is Sadaf Ansari. And last but not least, for the Design Indian Design Excellence Award for 2012 is Sonam Shah. And now for our winner, a certificate, a trophy and a check of 100,000. Please put your hands together for Ashish Tripathi. So the Retail Jeweler Award has actually created now a platform on which excellence in the industry, whether it be jewelry designing, whether it's uh, jewelry manufacturing, or indeed jewelry retailing, all this has been recognized. It's a platform. Beginning with the retail and marketing categories of the year 2012, TV Campaign of the Year. The nominations for the TV Campaign of the Year 2012 are Tanishk, India. Kalyan Jewelers, Trishur. Aura, Mumbai. Bhovandas Bhimji Zaveri, 
Mumbai. Sangini Diamond Jewelry, Mumbai. Joy Alugas, Kochal. Tanishk and Kalyan Jewelers. Print remains the most preferred medium to reach out to consumers. The jewelers are going the extra mile in conceptualizing some truly insightful, clutter-breaking ideas which convey the message intelligently. I'd like to call on DNA CEO K.U. Rao and Jitesh Rajdev to say a few words and announce and present the next award. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's wonderful to be associated with the Retail Jewelier Awards. We've been in Mumbai for six years now and have established a solid presence, I would say, in this city. We have spread across to six other cities in this country. And I don't know how many of you are aware, we are part of the Z Group, which has presence and reaches out to 160 million viewers around the world. Our intention is to establish leadership in the city of Mumbai over the next few years and then on to capture the rest of the business. And I'm really delighted that the jeweliers prefer print as a medium to advertise. It gets me that extra dollar. I look forward we are to working with you people closely. We have started a new uh, supplement to showcase jeweliers. And I see some of my good friends in the Julia community have been showcased over the re recent weeks. It's called Bling. And, uh, and some of you have been featured. I hope the rest of you will get featured in that supplement over the course of the next one year. Enjoy this evening. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominations for the print campaign of the year. The nominations for the print campaign of the year 2012 are Gaina Jewelers, Mumbai. Mahesh Nutandas, Mumbai. Joy Alugas, Kuchil. Talwar Sons Jewelers, Chandigarh. Sangini Diamond Jewelry, Mumbai. Tara Jewelers, Mumbai. Diamond Tina, Mumbai. Year goes to Tara Jewelry. Now, be it a new store launch, unveiling of a new collection, or launch of sales promotion, radio is the most trusted vehicle for the jewelers to reach the masses. Let's listen to some very engaging radio advertising campaigns of last year. The nominations? The nominations for the radio campaign of the year 2012 are Tribhuvan Das Bhimji Zaveri, Mumbai Abaran Jewelers, Bengaluru Joy Alukas, Kochal Ranga Jewelers, Pune Entires, Jaipur and Delhi. There was a tie here. It's Abaran and Tribhuvan Bhimji Zaveri, the original. New Age Retail.
retailers know how to drive sales and at the same time build superior brand equity. Cross-category promotion, giving a tweak to the age-old festive promotion, strategic association with high-profile events, all have changed the promotional landscape completely. We now put the spotlight to the retail promotion of the year. Discounts and showering goodies and con consumers are passé. New age retailers know how to drive sales and at the same time build superior brand equity. Cross-category promotion, giving a tweak to the age-old festive promotion, strategic association with high-profile events, all have changed the promotional landscape completely. Phoenix Bazaar is the associate partner of the 8th Gemfields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012. Phoenix Bazaar will soon be launching Mumbai's first gold souk, which will be the one gold stop for anyone looking for vast diversity in gold jewelry. Phoenix Bazaar will be operational in April 2013. Here's a quick peek. I'd like to request Mr. Amit Sate, Vice President, Phoenix Market City, to please come on stage, say a few words. Thank you, Ali. And I'm humbled by this audience, the, the people who, who rule the hearts of the women who rule our hearts. So thank you for getting us here. We are trying to actually uh, create the first gold souk in Mumbai to facilitate the the marketing and the promotion of the jewelry industry in, in this city. We hope we'll get the support from you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks very much, Amir. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a quick look at the nominees for the Retail Promotion of the Year category. The nominations for the Retail Promotion of the Year 2012 are Manubhai Jewelers, Mumbai. Unmool Jewelers, Mumbai. Pribhuvandas Bhimji Zaveri, Mumbai. Gehna Jewelers, Mumbai.
वामन हरी पेठे मुंबई एंड द अवार्ड गोज टू मनु भाई ज्वेलर्स Great product and great store interiors are the two key protagonists of a successful jewelry retail screenplay. They know how to complement each other. Our next award looks at new age retail showrooms that are gearing up for the 21st century, armed with plush interiors and of course a modern retail ambiance. Let's have a quick look at the Dharmanandan Diamonds Audiovisual. Dharmanandan Diamonds. Dharmanandan Diamonds is the fastest growing company in the industry with operations spread across the world in India, Hong Kong, Belgium and the United States of America. We constantly build newer bridges and seek greater heights by participating and organizing trade shows and other events in gems and jewelry markets all over the globe. We invest millions of dollars in technology upgradation for stringent quality controls at every step in the production process. For every delighted customer, there exists a team of professionals who have shaped the diamonds not only with their skill and expertise, but also with their painstaking devotion to create an unsurpassed reputation for reliability and finish. Dharmanandan Diamonds I'd like to call upon Mr. Piyush Patel, Director of Dharmananda Diamonds, to please come up on stage and say a few words. Good evening, everyone. It is an honor to be a sponsor of Retail Jewelers India Awards 2012. I'm sure that this kind of event will encourage retail jewelers to do more and better for the industry. Dharmanandan Diamond has always stood and shown its support for diamond and diamond jewelry industry. We are one of the favorable and reliable sources of supply for diamond and diamond jewelry needs with wide range of product and excellent customer services. I would like to say that crafting diamonds is our business, creating smile is our passion. Desire to touch life and contribute to the society gives us the purpose. Together, we aim to shape a better tomorrow. I wish all the very best to all the awardees and nominees of this event. Thank you very much and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much, Piyush. If I could request you to kindly stay on stage, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick look at the nominations for the new retail showroom of the year. The nominations for the new showroom of the year 2012 are... Tanishk, Mumbai. Meena Jewelers, Hyderabad. Khurana Jewelry House, Amritsar. A.S. Motiwala, Mumbai. Amrapali Jewels, Jaipur. H.M. Divan, Kolkata. The 360 degree marketing campaign looks at effective usage of multiple mediums. It's as good as putting trained snipers at every possible strategic location to catch the target, meaning the poor unsuspecting consumer has absolutely no chance of escaping. Uh, let's have a look at the nominations. The nominations for the 360 degree marketing campaign of the year 2012 are Ribhuvan Das Bhimji Zaveri, Mumbai.
Aura Mumbai Tara Jewelers Mumbai C. Krishnaya Chetty and Sons Bengaluru Ranka Jewelers Pune Asmi Diamond Jewelry, Mumbai. The award goes to Tribhuvandas Bhimji. There is no question, ladies and gentlemen, that celebrities impact fashion. The award goes to a deserving individual who epitomizes elegance and style in jewelry by virtue of her personality that adds charm to any piece that she adorns. She burst into the world of celluloid with a storm, making everyone stand up and take notice. She exudes class and grace, yet exemplifies glamour. Winner of the coveted Miss Asia Pacific title, she defines modernity and lends a new meaning to the world of fashion. Her gracefulness gives a new meaning to jewelry fashion. Indeed, the rarity of her choice in jewelry, combined with the way she wears it, defies all convention. She epitomizes style and new age sensuality. Redefining the adornment with her aura, she is undoubtedly the jewelry style icon of the year at the 8th Gems Field Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the one and only Dia Mirza. very special. I'd like to thank the jury for giving me this wonderful honor. I love jewelry. <laughs> and um, I take great pride in the jewelry I own. And I love wearing jewelry every time I do. And I really think that jewelry is perhaps one of the largest contributors to grace and elegance in a woman and in the way she carries herself. Thank you so much. Time to move on to the most coveted category of the awards, the jewelry categories. Platinum, ladies and gentlemen, is the expression of love, aspiration, and achievements for the young India. The rarity and the preciousness of young India has been truly captured by Platinum. Oro is the associate sponsor for the 8th Gemfields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012. Oro is India's largest machine-made bangle manufacturer and a dominant player in the 22-carat and 18-carat bangle industry. Let's take a quick look at what Oro is all about. It started as a cottage industry by our father Tikamdas Pauja with a consistent growth. Avinash and Ravish have taken it further and have made a mark in the entire jewellery industry. Today, brand Oro stands for value, trust, and innovation. Products are made in the factory, but brands are created in the mind, and Oro has captured the minds of many across the globe. Oro, the passion of the Pahujas is contagious. It puts everyone in the just do it mode.
Platinum has been a tough metal to work with, but Oro isn't an easy company to beat either. At Oro, I play with technology. I've thoroughly enjoyed the challenges of working with Platinum. In Eunice lies opportunity. Let's grab the Oro Platinum opportunity. Oro manufacturing is that it's the most unique and differentiated product which has come into the market for Platinum. We are really glad that Oro Platinum is in the program. I'd like to request Mr. Avinash Pahuja and Ravish Pahuja, Director Oro, Vaishali Banerjee, Manager Platinum Guild India, and James Courage, CEO Platinum Guild India, to kindly come up on stage for a special launch, ladies and gentlemen, before the award presentation. Hi, good evening, everybody. It's, it's great to be here. I absolutely love it. It's uh, the third time uh, we are sponsoring with uh, uh, retail jewelers, and uh, I absolutely love it. We've had, uh, Oro has had uh, three landmarks since we've started, and uh, it's good to know that we are going to be in Dubai manufacturing by the end of this year. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, it's, uh, it's been a long journey, but we've, we've been there. And uh, we are getting there, I mean. <laughs> Another thing is that uh, we've started a thing called the Oro Trading Club, wherein all our distributors have come together and formed one common platform, uh, and uh, we're uh, distributing the entire product line from there. And uh, the, the third and the best thing is the Platinum launch. <laughs> I, I, I'd like uh, Ravish to uh, give us uh, some more on this. Yeah. Ravish, please. Uh, thank you, Avinash. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank, uh, I, I would like to begin with thanking James and uh, Vaishali to uh, bring this opportunity to us to, to bring on a new metal uh, uh, into our offering. Uh, like I said earlier, it has been uh, really a big challenge working with uh, Platinum. Uh, you know, I really underestimated uh, when, when Vaishali came up to me and said, uh, Ravish, how about we, we start Platinum Bengals? And uh, I, I, I gave her a deadline of three months, and, and it's, it's, it's taken us almost two years to reach here, and uh, it's, it's been an amazing journey. I have, I have gone back and forth several times, and uh, I, I think, I think, I think uh, that, that I would like to thank my entire team back in the factory who have, who have guided us and, and, and allowed us to uh, make it for the launch uh, this year in 2012. I look forward to a grand future uh, working with uh, PGI. They have been very, very supportive, and uh, I hope that uh, we can capture the market the way we have with gold, with platinum. Thank you, guys. The nominations for the Platinum Jewelry of the Year 2012 are Pople, Mumbai. Prince Jewelry, Chennai. Ceres, Mumbai. Indian Gems and Jewelry Creation, Kolkata. Mumbai C. Krishnaya Chetty and Sons, Bengaluru
Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Popley. GIA is associate sponsor for these awards. Established in 1931, GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, is recognized as the world's foremost authority in gemology. I'd like to request Ms. Nirupa Bhatt, Managing Director, GIA India and Middle East, to please come up and say a few words. Good evening. Uh, we are at GIA are all about setting standards, and I think the Retail Jeweler uh, Awards are also setting standards, so we are pleased to be associated with them. My compliments to all the nominees and congratulations to all the winners. Please enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jewelry designers are the new breed of trendsetters who have inspired and encouraged Indian consumers see and appreciate value in design innovation. Their efforts have brought about the refreshing changes in the consumer psyche, which has now become more receptive towards aesthetic value. Let's take a look at the nominations. The nominations for the Jewelry Designer of the Year 2012 are Yash Agarwal, Birdhi Chand Ghanchandas, Jaipur. Pradeep Jethani, Jet Gems, Mumbai. Shilu Suni, Manichand Jewelers, Gauhati. Dolly Oberoi, God Diva, New Delhi. Raji Varura, Amrapali, Jaipur. Sunita Gupta, Sunita Gupta, Mumbai. Meera Gulati, Mirari, New Delhi. Suhail Kedia, Maliram Jewelers, Amritsar.
Jewelry Designer of the Year is Yash Agarwal from Birdichan Gansham Das. Moving on to our next category, the Diamond Jewelry of the Year. Diamonds are eternal, precious, and rare. They signify aspirations, identity, class, and elegance. Let's have a look at the nominations for the 8th Gemfields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012 Diamond Jewelry category. The nominations for the Diamond Jewelry of the Year 2012 are A.S. Motiwala, Mumbai. Mahesh Nothandas, Mumbai. Kashi Jewels, Kanpur. Entice, Jaipur and Delhi. Copley Diamond and Gold Plaza Private Limited, Mumbai. Talwar Sons Jewelers, Chandigarh. With that, ladies and gentlemen, the 8th Gemfields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012 now presents Lifetime Achievement Award to the individual who has made an outstanding contribution to the field of retail and manufacturing. We begin with the Lifetime Achievement in the Retail category. This is the story of a man who rose like a phoenix and took his business to phenomenal heights with his sheer passion grit and devotion. Lala Jukal Kishore Rastogi was born on November 18, 1918 in a jeweler's family known for their association with the Nawabs. In 1931, at the tender age of 13, he joined his family and took control of Manilal Purushottam Das Jewelers and Sons with a mission to carry the legacy forward. Because of his perseverance and indomitable spirit, his store in chalk began to be popularly known as Lala Jugal Kishore Ki Dukan. That really fueled his passion and he opened the second store in Fateh Ganj in the name of Lala Jugal Kishore and Company and the third in close succession in Aminabad market as Lala Jugal Kishore Jewelers, Bankers and Curio Dealers. His extensive hands-on know-how on kundankari and crafts turned him into the most authentic expert for jewelers and patrons. People used to come from far and wide to get his views on jewelry. He believed in simple living and was actively involved in various social works such as building charitable community halls, temples and charitable trusts. Four decades on, after his death on the 2nd of February 1973, his influence still reverberates in the family. His sons and grandsons are now continuing the legacy with a chain of seven stores in Lucknow and Kanpur. 
Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012 salutes this noble soul by honoring him with the posthumous Lifetime Achievement Award in the retail category. I take this opportunity to congratulate and pass the good wishes on to Lala Jugalkishore Ji, who in a state which is rarely appearing in the jewelry scene in Uttar Pradesh, he made the mark of being a leading fine jewelry company. My husband at Petrostogi is the youngest descendant of the person being honored today. So I know I'm saying it for the entire family when I say I want to really thank retail jewelers and the Rio Tinto and the Gems Field for giving such an honor to our late grandfather. Thank you so much for the honor. And now for the Lifetime Achievement of the Year Award for Manufacturing. Success could have come easily to him by virtue of his rich legacy, but he chose to trudge the path less traveled. That's the story of Mr. Navratan Kothari, the visionary behind KGK. He was born in Jaipur. At the age of 18, he moved to Chennai and took upon him the responsibility of running the 107-year-old family shop, his rare business acumen that took him to Burma in 1962. He launched a successful business venture in colored gemstones. In 1969, he began his illustrious journey in diamond business with a small office in Mumbai's famous Zaveri Bazaar, digressing from the ancestral colored stones business. His firm, KGK Enterprises, became the first organization from Rajasthan to be the site holder with a diamond trading company. Because of his unstinting faith in family values and culture and his ever undulating energy, KGK's business of diamonds, colored stones and jewelry is now spread across 15 countries. Under his leadership, the group has now ventured into retailing diamond jewelry from its store brand, Entice. During his eventful career spanning more than five decades, he won several prestigious industry accolades and national honors. Mr. Navratan Kothari didn't let his business pursuit overshadow his social commitments. His active involvement in Bhagwan Mahavir Cancer Hospital and Research Center, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Jal Mahal Project and Subod Shiksha Samiti underlines his desire to make the society a better place to live in. With plans of business diversification on the anvil, Mr. Kothari is unstoppable in taking his business ethos to other spheres. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Navratan Kothari. When I started in council in, way back in 1990 or 92, he was already there. And because of their blessings and their foundation, which GJPC is running, and we are taking the fruits of that. They have contributed to a great extent in the council also. I represent a family business of 107 years. I am the third generation. My sons are the fourth generation, and grandsons have, is, have also joined me. So I am a witness of three generations before and three generations later. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, colored gemstones of the year. Of late, colored gemstones have started getting their due thanks to the concerted effort from all stakeholders. Indian consumers now look eagerly at colored gemstones to make a fashion statement. Presenting the eighth 
Gem Fields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012 for the Colored Gemstone category. The nominations for the Colored Gemstone Jewelry of the Year 2012 are Kurana Jewelry House, Amritsar. Gehenna Jewelers, Mumbai. BR Designs, Surat. Entice, Jaipur and Delhi. Amrabali Jewels, Jaipur. H. Ajumal Fine Jewelry, Mumbai. Exquisite designs and innovation are the mainstay of innovative jewelry. It's the design exclusivity that adds value to the creation. The canvas is truly unlimited. Nominations for Innovative Jewelry of the Year 2012 are... Nominations for the Innovative Jewelry of the Year 2012 are... Purple Diamond and Gold Plaza Private Limited, Mumbai. Mirari, Delhi. Birdhi Chand Ghansham Das, Jewelers, Jaipur. Anmol Jewelers, Mumbai. Charu Jewels, Surat. Ceres, Mumbai. Gana Jewelers, Mumbai.
tie here. And the winners are Pople Diamond and Gold Plaza and Mirari. We present to you three international performers who will mesmerize you with their eye-popping act as they take change to the next level. Presenting the magic, the ingenuity, the glamour, and of course, the razzle-dazzle of three lovely ladies who call themselves the Quick Angels. Ladies and gentlemen, the refined sensibilities, exclusivity in design have now rightfully claimed their space in the jewelry sphere, thanks to the rise of couture culture. The couture jewelry of the year category for the eighth Gem Fields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012 captures this genre with perfection. Let's have a quick look. The nominations for the couture jewelry of the year 2012 are A.S. Motiwala. Mumbai Beer Dhichand Ganshamdas Jewelers Jaipur BR Designs Surat Farah Khan Fine Jewelry, Mumbai. Gehenna Jewelers, Mumbai. Hazuri Lal Jewelers, Delhi. Case Jewels, Kanpur. to a very good dear friend of mine, Gena Jewelers. India is gold, gold is India. The glittering bond with the Indian consumers of this precious yellow metal is yet to find its rival. The design preference has changed, but the desire hasn't. Let's have a look at the nominations for the 8th Gemfields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards 2012 Gold Jewelry of the Year category. The nominations for the Gold Jewelry of the Year 2012 are Kundan Jewelers, Mumbai. Shri
श्री कृष्णा डायमंड्स एंड ज्वेलरी बेंगलुरु पोपली डायमंड एंड गोल्ड प्लाजा प्राइवेट लिमिटेड मुंबई त्रिभुवनदास भीमजी जवेरी मुंबई महावीर दनवर कोलकाता बी के सराफ प्राइवेट लिमिटेड लखनऊ केस जूल्स कानपुर the gold jewelry of the year 2012 is uh, kundan jewelers now heritage jewelry is a true reflection of the rich legacy and aura of indian culture and ethos heritage with a contemporary twist is what has made this category more exciting for consumers Let's have a look at the nominations for the Heritage Jewelry category for these awards. The nominations for the Heritage Jewelry of the Year 2012 are Amrapali Jewels, Jaipur. Anmol Jewels, Mumbai. Kant Jewelers, Bengaluru. Popley Diamond and Gold Plaza Private Limited, Mumbai. Hazuri Lal Jewelers, Delhi. Savan Sukha Jewelers, Kolkata. B R Designs, Surat. Manu Bhai Jewelers, Mumbai.
सावन सुक्का ज्वेलर्स एंड अम्रपाली ज्वेल्स Gold and Vivah are truly inseparable in India. Beautifully designed handcrafted gold jewelry adds to the elegance and opulence of a wedding celebration. Let's have a look at the nominations of the Gold Vivah jewelry category. The nominations for the Gold Vivah jewelry of the year 2012 are Sona Chandi, Kanpur. Ari Hunt Gems and Jewelry Private Limited Surat Gehna Jewelers Mumbai Shri Krishna Diamonds and Jewelry Bengaluru Mehta Emporium Jewelers, Mumbai. Nutan Das and Sons, Mumbai. Dalbar Sons Jewelers, Chandigarh. jewelry of the year award goes to sona chandi congratulations the grandeur of the great indian wedding becomes even more opulent ladies and gentlemen with the glitter of sparkling diamonds no prizes for guessing this precious stone has become the best pal of indian brides presenting The 8th Gemfields Rio Tinto Retail Jeweler India Awards Diamond Vivah nominations. The nominations for the Diamond Vivah Jewelry of the Year 2012 are Purple Diamond and Gold Plaza Private Limited, Mumbai. Amul Jewelers, Mumbai. Charu Jewels Surat Indian Gems and Jewelry Creation Kolkata Nutan Das and Sons Mumbai Biyat Designs Surat Meenawala Mumbai
And the Diamond Vivar Jewelry of the Year goes to Anmol Jewelers. Congratulations. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of tonight's award function. Before we say goodnight, I'd like to call on Samit Bhatta to come and speak a last few words. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank all our sponsors, partners, all our jury members, and everybody who participated in these awards and making it a huge success. Thank you very much, and see you next year. Very proud to win this because I think this is a very professional, um, really very cool award show. I mean, being honored on a platform like this for your efforts, and when you have that gut feeling in you, okay, you deserve it. I wanted to win this award for my father, uh, who is the managing director of our firm. And uh, I'm glad the event here is more important to engage with uh, all our jewelry retailers and meet them, understand business. And the awards always say is a bonus. I'm feeling extremely happy today. It's a great recognition. That too from the peer group. Gehenna Jewelers was nominated in about six categories. So we were really thrilled and uh, we worked very, very hard for the nominations. Our piece was made in platinum, which is one of the most difficult metals to work in. And with the intricacy that we worked with design on the platinum metal is what I believe uh, got us the edge up front. I'm simply thrilled and really excited about getting this award for the best radio campaign. Uh, a lot of effort had gone into creating this particular campaign. I'm really happy and this is basically it's an inspiration for me to create new pieces of jewellery. Today when I've been the Jewellery Designer of the Year Award, it's amazing. It is really uh, great when you get appreciated for your hard work. I'm so excited. This is considered to be the Oscars of India. So what better than receiving at this moment where you're working hard and receiving everything in India.